happy days. Susan Newman, daughter of Paul, will talk about a subject very close to her heart. We'll also be visited by Vince DiMaggio, Mr. Coffee's older brother, who was an all-star in his own right. And keep those seatbelts fastened because later we'll meet Lee Ving and Philo Kramer from the punk rock group Fear. You know, people said to me, Fred, why don't you have a, a sidekick on the show? Someone to kind of boost your ego, to build your confidence. Someone like a, well, like an Ed McMahon to laugh at your jokes and to, well, how do they say it, to validate your worthiness. Well, I say to them, I don't need that. I don't need a sidekick to let me know I'm doing a good job. Excuse me for saying this, but this is my fourth night, and if I may say so, I think I've done quite well, perhaps even better than I hoped. And I don't need someone to constantly reassure me of that fact. Am I right? Oh, yes. Well, haven't I been doing a good job? Oh, yeah. Have you watched all the shows? Oh, yeah. Have the interviews been, uh, you know, going well? Oh, yeah. Have you laughed at all my jokes? Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. I don't need someone to constantly reassure me of that, do I? Oh, no. All right, thanks. <laughs> we'll be right back with Scott Bayo. Stay tuned. Did it go well? Oh, yeah. Live on tonight's show, our guests will include two members of the cast of SCTV, uh, what many say is the funniest show on TV, John Candy and Andrea Martin. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, also known as Cassandra Peterson, and we'll meet the man who revived Alvin and all his chipmuck friends, Ross Bagdasarian, and famous explorer Captain Jack Fields. I'm kind of here with a, a heavy heart tonight, because last night, if you were watching, uh, a young lady was on with me, uh, Kathy McMullen. Who was my administrative assistant, my right-hand lady, if you will. And uh, we got many calls late last night and today from women's groups who felt that she was used in a sexually demeaning way, if you'll pardon the expression. They felt that it was kind of sexist. She had no apparent function on the show. And uh, at first I disagreed, but as I thought about it, I kind of saw their point. And they asked me, they said, Fred, we would be happier if she was not on the show tonight. And uh, I don't want to step on any toes, and I kind of agree. And so Kathy will not be here tonight. But here taking her place is Annie Gabus. Hi, Annie. Hi, Mr. Willis. You know, I want to, I want to make one thing clear. Uh, a man in my professional position needs an administrative uh, assistant. And before any of you get the wrong idea, Annie is a professional woman. She has, she is a graduate of the Columbia School of Secretarial Skills. She types close to 120 words a minute. She has picked up certain uh, little tricks faster than I'd hoped and, and prayed for. And uh, you'll be here throughout the whole show, won't you? Yes, Mr. Willard. Yes, and you're going to be taking notes as the show goes along, too. Of course, Mr. Willard. Uh, where's your stenographic pad and uh, paper well, and pen? I left it in the dressing room. Annie, I told you you've got to remember those things because we have to take notes. But you rushed me out so all right, fast. All right, all right, all right. But we're going to go over the notes afterwards in the dressing room. You remember that, don't you? Oh, yes. Right. We'll be right back with John Candy and Andrea Martin. <laughs> you can't do it. Thanks. I, I, I know how busy you all are for coming back because I have a little surprise. You know, uh, I'm on Real People, and we always close by reading some little rhyme or couplets. I think it'd be kind of cute to end tonight's show the same way. Oh, right. Yeah, so I took the uh, liberty of just writing out a little kind of little rhyme here, and I'm going to pass it out to each one of you. Oh, really? We yes, because, uh, you know, real people, have, for some reason, people like <laughs> that. So if you don't mind, let's have just a, a dry run. Not that I don't think you're professionally up to it, but just start here. Andre, you start, start and read. Fine. The clock on the wall says our hour is up. My, how the time flies. But I've enjoyed being here with you, Fred, because you're so witty and wise. <laughs> Fred, um, I don't know. I, I feel really uncomfortable reading your words. And I just want to say that we took some time before the show and wrote our endings because we thought we that this was going to, you know. Uh, no, well, no assume, right you know. Well, that's terrific it. because yeah. I would prefer it that way that it comes. You would. Yes, we, do you have your own? Right here. Sure. Let's not even, let's right not even rehearse. Let's go with it. All and right. I'll, um, Great. Let me then you just it. do the opening. Okay. Fine. I've enjoyed spending some time with you. You're all people who are real. So we'll end the show by letting you say whatever it is you feel. But we can't wait. It's getting late. It's time that we were starting with Cassandra Peterson, John Candy. Let's begin with Andrea Martin. <laughs> the time has come to say goodnight. The hour has really raced. I'm sure Fred had a lot of fun, but to us it was a total waste. <laughs> wait a minute. Huh? Good. Why would you, you say that? You said you needed a guest tonight. You <laughs> promised I wouldn't regret it. You begged me to have you on my show, but after tonight... 
forget it. Wait, no, Anne, you didn't mention You that. pleaded with me to be on your show. You said you'd talk straight from the heart. You told me we'd have lots of laughs. Well, I'm still waiting for them to start. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, it's not my fault. You well, wanted a pro to balance well, you know, the show. You said only I would do, but now I find out anyone was okay. You know why? Because you're an amateur through and through. Andre, now wait a minute. You know, I asked you. told me we not told to come as Elvira, to look like myself instead. But if I'd known how this would go, I'd have worn a bag over my head. Oh, now wait a minute. You know, we called. I got dressed we up asked to come down here. I even combed my hair. And now I think I should have stayed home. Because it was embarrassing. That doesn't even rhyme, well, Justin. Oh, for heaven's sake, Cynthia. Any is a bedtime girl from L.A. Down station, down KTDV. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Great. Good. 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 Good.